Hey little brother Louis, how's my bro's first semester at the Ohio State University going? Are you behaving yourself? Haha, <laughs> you know me big sis. I'm a good boy and bed by nine every night. Uh-huh, sure. Well, just don't end up being one of those freshmen I see on the news. Don't worry, I'm not like some of these other pledges. Some of these dudes are total morons. Pledges? Oh god, you're pledging? Well, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? I just think it's crazy. Someone from our family? A frat boy at Ohio State? Sorry, THE Ohio State. Yeah, you better get it right. I'm really proud of you, kiddo. Getting a scholarship, getting out of your podunk town, you've really made the family proud. Really? Even dad? Are you kidding? Especially dad. Well, he has a funny way of showing it. He has a hard time showing his emotions, but believe me, I know how proud of you he is. So when are you going to come and see me? Well, I don't know, Louis. Aren't you a little busy with school right now? Yeah, well, I suppose you're right. So, what are the boys like, Louis? What do you mean? They're frat bros. So, they are the stereotypical shirtless, sweaty, drunk, and vaguely homoerotic set? Well, yeah, basically. They aren't making you do anything too dangerous, are they? They better not be talking my stupid little brother into doing something stupid. Nah, just the usual stuff. You know, making me tell them my deepest secrets and then punching me in the face. Oh well, that's great. Yeah, and running through the Russian paddling gauntlet. And, uh, what might the Russian paddling gauntlet be? Well, first you take a double shot of vodka, then you run down a line of dudes, they all spank you with big paddles with holes in it. Be careful, Louis. I will be, I will be. Hey, you were in a sorority, weren't you? Um, yeah, but I didn't have to. Get spammed, thanked by a bunch of girls to get in. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, shut up! In your dreams. But seriously, you have a lot of potential, Louis. Don't go wasting it away on booze and partying. I won't, I won't. And don't let these people influence you. Remember who you are. And who am I? I thought I came to university to figure that out. Well, you're not a moron. At least, you're a frat boy moron. So, don't let me down, okay? Okay, okay, I won't. You're a pain in the butt, but you're a great big sister. Do you know that? Uh, yeah, of course I know. Vanessa, something terrible has happened. Oh no! Dad, what's going on? It's your brother. It's Louis. He's in the hospital. He's in critical condition. Oh my god, what happened? What's going on? Well, we don't really know exactly. He's unconscious. But his supposed friends, those other guys in the frat, brought him into the ER at 4 a.m. this morning. He was covered in paint and markers, just drunker than I thought anyone could ever be. The doctors told us it was three times the legal limit. Oh my god, Dad! I know, I know. They're flushing him out right now. But that isn't even the worst of it. He, he fell down the stairs. Or that was the story. Stairs? What stairs? The frat house is two floors. Apparently, or at least this is what the boys said, he slipped and fell. He was just drunk, and he fell. Well, what are his injuries? Broken arm, broken shoulder, ribs, broken leg, punctured lung, concussion, fractured skull. Oh my god! Dad! Is he... is he going to be okay? Well, honey, we just don't know right now. 
I just don't understand how this could have happened. How could he have been so stupid? He was pledging. I'm sure that's what it was. Pledging for the fraternity? They probably got him wasted and pushed him down the stairs or something. But they said he fell down the stairs. Dad! Oh. Oh, well, I guess you're right. It does seem kind of obvious now in hindsight. Where are those kids now? Well, I guess they went back to their house after they dropped him off. One stuck around for a little while after we got here. But he left pretty quickly after he got his story straight with us. What was his name? Do you remember? God, I don't know, Vanessa. Everything's happening so fast. Think, Dad, think! Hold on. Um, let me ask your mother. She says it was Neil. Neil what? Keebler. Keebler? Like the elf? Yeah, like the elf, she says. Why? What are you going to do? Aren't you going to come in here and see your brother? Well, he's unconscious, isn't he? Well, yeah, he's in a medically induced coma right now. Okay, well, is he stable? Yeah, he's stable. Okay, well then, I think it could be of more use to him in this way. Yeah, but in what way? I have to go to that frat house, Dad. I have to gather evidence of whatever happened before those morons destroy it. Okay, well, be careful, honey. I don't want you getting pushed down any stairs. Don't worry, Dad. This won't be the first time I've dealt with frat boys. Hi, is this Neil? Uh, yeah? Who's this? This is Vanessa, Louis's sister. Oh, uh, hi. Hi, Vanessa. Uh, how's it doing? Well, he's pretty messed up, actually, but I guess you know that. Yeah, well, we just don't know what happened. I just woke up around four and he was lying on the bottom of the stairs. Oh, really? You do know that I was just at your frat house, right? Um, yeah, they told me. Who told you? Handlebar. Handlebar? And why do they call him Handlebar? Because of the mustache, I assume? Well, um, no, actually. It's because he got really drunk his first week here and flew over the handlebars of a bike. Oh, well, that would explain a few things. Yeah, well, he did hit his head pretty good. good. Listen, Neil. Oh, uh, okay. So, you're telling me that my little brother fell down the stairs? Well, yeah. He just sort of slipped, tripped down the steps? Well, like I told you, nobody saw it happen. I just got up and found him like that. And then, what happened? What did you do after you found him? Oh, well, um, uh, me and some of the other guys, we picked him up. You picked him up? Uh, well, yeah. Why did you pick him up? Um, well, I mean, how else were we supposed to get him to the couch? Why didn't you just call an ambulance right away? Oh. Uh, well... You know, you aren't supposed to move someone who could possibly have a head trauma, right? Well, how was I supposed to know that he had head trauma? You just said that he fell down the stairs. Well, it didn't look like he'd hit his head to us. He had a fractured skull. He... he did? Yes, and a broken arm, broken shoulder, ribs, broken leg punctured lung, and a concussion. Oh, oh my god. Is, is he dead? What? No! I just told you what was wrong with him. Tell me he's alive. Tell me he isn't dead. He's alive! He's alive! Jeez! Okay. Well, good, but... I really don't think I should be talking to you anymore. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, actually, I'm just going to have to hang up right now. 
But why? Well, I can't give you any more details about what happened. But why? Well, because I need to call my parents. And why do you need to call your parents? Uh, so they can call their lawyers? And why would they have to call their lawyers? So if your brother dies, we won't get blamed for it. Is it that hard to figure out? Bye. Wait! Neil! Wait! Hey, Dad. How's Lewis doing? Well, he's still stable, but he's still in the ICU. The doctor said they think he's going to be okay, but he needs lots of help along the way. A lot of physical therapy. Oh, thank God. Is he conscious yet? Is he talking? No, he's still in the coma. But the doctors are talking about maybe taking him out of it today. We'll see what happens then. See if he remembers anything. Well, with the amount of booze he had in him, I doubt he'll be able to remember the last two weeks. Uh, well, any luck with the frat bros? Did you get into the house? Yes, I went there. What a crap hole. I can't believe anyone could live like that, much less my little brother. Could you see any evidence of the fall? Well, I mean, I guess... They were skid marks in the banister and wall, and a big dent in the front door. Oh, God. But, I mean, with that house, it could have happened at any time. What about the kids? Did you talk to that kid? Yeah, he's one slick little turd. Let me tell you. Ooh, come on, Vanessa, I'm eating. Oh, well, sorry, I didn't know you were eating. We're talking over text, remember? Well, anyway, what did he say? Well, first of all, he said they moved him after he slipped or whatever. Oh, God, they moved him? Don't they know anything? Well, obviously not. I can't believe they didn't do more damage than they already did. What else did you find out? Well, I don't know. Not much. He pretty much shut up after he realized the extent of Lewis's injuries. So you told him? Um, yeah. Sorry, I was mad. Well, that's okay, I understand. I'm pretty freaking pissed too. But what do we have to go on to nail these little suckers? Well, there is one thing. Oh yeah? What is it? There are security cameras in the house. Oh, really? Where? How many? Well, I'm not sure, but there was definitely one above the stairs. Oh, well, damn. Then pay dirt. Yeah, but first, we have to get access to those cameras. How are we going to do that? Well, I suppose we need a warrant. Yes, yes, I suppose we do. Which means we need a lawyer, I guess. Yes, I suppose we do. Well, we're just a humble little family from the sticks. These kids in this frat have serious money. How are we going to be any match against them in court? I think I might have someone. Oh yeah? Who? She handled my friend Lucy's traffic case a while ago. Oh yeah? Is she reputable? Nope. Lily Brown? Attorney at law, how may the Constitution serve you today? Oh, hello, Miss. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. Your secretary said that you were very busy. Me? Me? Who am I? And who might you be? Oh, um, well, I'm Vanessa Smith. Vanessa Smith. Oh, yes. The frat boy case. Yes, that's right. Now, that's all I remember about it, so please, refresh my memory. Well, my little brother Lewis just started his freshman year at Ohio State. You mean THE Ohio State? Yes, yes, THE Ohio State. And anyway, 
he was pledging for his stupid fraternity, and he slipped or was pushed down the stairs. Pushed? Slipped? Fell? Well, which is it? Well, I don't know how you can slip and get a broken arm, broken shoulder, ribs, broken leg, punctured lung, concussion, and a fractured skull. Damn! And this boy is still alive? Yep, somehow he is, even with a blood alcohol content three times the legal limit. Man, your little brother is a mess. I know. Believe me, we'll be having a good long talk with him after all of that. So, who would you say is responsible for all of this? Besides your brother, for letting them do all of this to him? Yeah, well, believe me, he'll be learning his lesson. And it was the other frat guys, the one who pushed him. Allegedly. The ones who moved him all around after they did it. Wait, they moved him after the incident? Yep. Oh lord, what idiots. And they say he slipped? But I've gone to the house. You went to the house? When did you go to the house? The morning after. Oh, well, uh, okay. And what did you see? Well, a big dent in the front door my brother would have landed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes. And what else? Well, security cameras. Security cameras, huh? Where did you see the security cameras? Right above the stairs? Right above. Oh my. Well then that could be very helpful to our case. So we have a case? You'll take it? Well, of course I'll take it. I work for the little man. It would be a low down and dirty shame if a blue collar family such as yours was to be trampled by the privileges of the rich. Well, yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it too. Thank you. It would be a miscarriage of justice to allow these young heathens to get away with this. Egregious, horrendous, outrageous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is outrageous. So, what do we do next? How do we get these guys? Well, first, we gotta get our hands on those tapes. Hey there, big sis. How are you doing? Louis? Is that you? Oh my god, you're awake! Yep, it's me. I'm awake, I think. I'm alive, right? I mean, mom and dad tell me I'm alive, but I'm not so sure. Do you have any idea what happened? Um, well, some of it, yeah. And what do you remember? Well, I remember enough to know that you'll be mad at me for it. Look, Louis, I'm just happy that you're okay. That you're alive, for God's sake. Do you know how lucky you are? Yeah, well, I know. No, actually, I really don't think you do. I don't think you have any idea how lucky you are. Frankly, Louis, you should be dead. Hey, I thought you said you were happy I was okay. Well, I take it back now, I'm mad again. What the hell were you thinking? Well, I... I wanted to pledge. So you drank? What? An entire bottle of vodka? I don't remember. I blacked out well before that. And do you remember anything about what happened? Anything about the stairs? No. Nothing. Did mom and dad tell you how you got to the hospital? Well, they said the other guys took me in. Yeah, more like dragged you. Well, Neil's a pretty responsible dude. I'm sure he took really good care of me. Louis, Neil is a total snake. What? What do you mean? I mean, as soon as he found out how hurt you were, he said his family started lawyering up. What? They, they did? But I thought he said I slipped. Yeah, well, 
I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that your injuries are a little more consistent with you getting pushed. And so is our lawyer. Our lawyer? You hired us a lawyer? Who? A little old country lawyer by the name of Lily Brown. You... you got Lily Brown in my case? That's right. Only the best for my little brother. Well, who do they have? Um... Go ahead. Tell me. Terry Berry Fairy and Drew. Oh, crap. It's okay, it's okay. We have a secret weapon. A wild card, if you will. An ace of her sleeve. Just shut up and tell me what it is. Well, it's the security cameras. Security cameras? What security cameras? There's a security camera right above the stairs. What, that old thing? I'm not even sure that thing works. Wait, are you serious? It's not hooked up. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Nobody ever said anything about it. Well, it better be working. Lewis, our case goes right out the window. Wait, I think it was on. Yeah. It was? Yeah, maybe. I think I remember Alan saying something about how he wanted us to set it up in the sorority house bathroom. Ugh! You're not going back to a frat, Lewis. Vanessa, how are you? Lily Brown here. Oh, hi, Miss Lucy. How are you? How's your little brother doing? Your father told me that his condition is improving. Yes, slowly and steadily. Thank God he's still young. But these hospital bills are going to be insane. I just want to get this case behind us so we can focus on healing, you know? Well, that's what I want to do, but... What's wrong? You seem kind of off. Well, to be honest, we could be better. Oh no, what's going on? I just got word back from Terry, Barry, Fairy, and Drew about those security tapes. The ones from the camera above the stairs? Yeah? And? Wiped clean. What? What do you mean, wiped clean? They weren't running that night, or at all? Oh no, they were running. They were running just fine. But somehow the footage has just disappeared into thin air. No way! This is ridiculous! This is total bullshit! They buried it! Well, what can we do then? That footage was our whole case. Everything else is just circumstantial. Yes, yes. I know, I know. But they can get away with this, Miss. This is just totally wrong. We have to do something. There must be something that we can do. Well, there is one person who could help us. Well, who? Who are they? Let's find them. He's someone who could possibly help us access whatever is on those tapes. But you said that they've been wiped. How can get anything from them now? Oh, come on now. Nothing is totally wiped these days. Not with the cloud. Nothing has ever truly gone, not if you know the hands of a true tech genius at the reins. What do you mean? Well, there's this person I have to do some work for for me every once in a while. A man. Oh, a man? He's very good at what he does. He can hack into anything. Any mainframe, any cloud. But he comes with a hefty fee, usually. Although, sometimes he does do some pro bono work for the right clients. But I can't contact him. You can't? Well, why can't you? Well, what he does isn't always through legal means, if you catch my drift. What are you saying? That he's, like, a criminal or something? Well, he's never been convicted of a crime, if that's what you're asking. Uh-huh, right? So you're saying that I'm going to have to contact this guy? Yes, but I must warn you, this man is very private. 
You must approach him with the utmost discretion. Okay, well, what's this guy's name? Harpo Computer Repair, how may I repair your computer today? Hi, is this Harpo? Um, yes it is. Would you happen to have a computer in need of fixing? Banana Split. Um, excuse me? Banana Split. That's the password, right? Banana Split. Um, password for what? Oh, 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 sorry. Banana Split for Specialized Repair. Please hold for a secure line. Um, okay. Hello, Vanessa. This is Harpo. So nice to finally speak with you. The lawyer told me all about your case. Oh, Harpo. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today. Seriously. Well, of course. I always enjoy providing my services to people in need. Especially people who are being attacked by the likes of frat boys. So you can stand them either, huh? I'm a nerd, Vanessa. Of course I can't. That's why I want to help you pro bono. Wait, seriously? You mean it? Well, to be honest, Vanessa, I've had great success ever since I struck out on my own here, broken free of working all those miserable tech support jobs. Now, on my own going rogue, I can help people the way I want to. With free reign, do you understand? Um, yeah, I think I do. Now, of course, we've all seen these stories on the news. Kids being hazed, permanent brain damage, bound to wheelchairs, lives forever altered. Sometimes those responsible pay, sometimes they don't. Your brother is a bit of a moron, yes? Well, um, he's actually a really smart guy. He's just young, and I think he's just kind of caught up with the wrong crowd. Well, who else but drinks a bottle of vodka and lets other boys beat him up, though? Okay, yes, you have a point. That culture really does need to change. Nevertheless, change only comes from accountability. And there can be no accountability with swapped security cameras. So, what do we do? Can you get the footage back? Of course, I can get the footage back. Who do you think you're talking to? Believe me, it would be my eternal pleasure to bring down the privileged dogs that covered up your brother's death. Oh wait, he's not dead. He's not? No, no, he's going to be okay. Oh well, I thought the lawyer said that he died. No, no, he didn't die but he came pretty close to dying. Oh well, okay then, but they still covered it up, right? Well, yeah, they covered it up. Okay, great. Then it would be my eternal pleasure to bring down the privileged dogs that covered up your brother's almost death. Okay, great. Thanks, Harpo. You are welcome. Vanessa, wonderful news. What? What's going on? I just got a call from Neil's parents' lawyers. And guess who wants to settle? What? Oh my god, are you kidding? For how much? The full amount, that's how much. But how did this happen? I thought Harpo was... Who? I don't know anybody by that name and neither do you, remember? Oh, right, right. Apparently, the footage from that stair camera was not totally wiped. Apparently, some little birdie found it on the cloud and carried it all the way to my office doorstep. And then I carried it right straight to Terry, Barry, Ferry, and Drew's offices. And boy, you should have seen their faces. Oh my god, this is incredible. Thank you so much, Miss... How could I ever repay you? You just tell that little brother of yours to make sure he keeps away from bad influences, you understand? Yes, I'll make sure of it. Hey, little bro, how are you feeling? Getting better every day. 
I think I'll be ready to go back and pledge in no time. Louis, I don't think so. Just kidding. You better be. Yeah, I think I've already taken enough chances with all of that. Maybe I've used up a few of my nine lives, huh? Believe me, you're not missing much being in a frat. Do you really want to be associated with guys like that? Well, I thought I did, but maybe I was just being insecure. What do you mean, Louis? What were you so insecure about? I guess, I just mean maybe, I felt bad about being from a small town, about not being rich like those guys. So maybe I was just trying to show off, show them how cool I was, you know? By drinking half a gallon of vodka and letting Alan push you down the stairs? Well, you live and you learn, I guess. So, um, did you see the footage? Yeah, and it was freaking horrible. You don't ever want to see it, believe me. Did mom and dad see it? Dad saw it. Mom couldn't handle it. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. So, are you still mad at me, sis? Well, it looks like Alan is getting expelled along with the others. And there's pretty much a 100% chance they face charges. So, all's well that ends well, I guess. At least, those dishes will be off the streets. Hey, yeah. How did you get that footage anyway? Was the camera even working? Um, well, let's just say the footage sort of fell in us from above. After the frat was closed, Alan and the other boys were charged with reckless endangerment, felonious assault, and underage possession of alcohol. Alan was given the brunt of the judge's wrath as it was clear from the security footage that he was the one who pressured Lewis the most that night, and he was the one who pushed him down the stairs. He was given six months in county jail and three years probation, and is currently living at home with his parents and attending his local community college, where he is failing all of his classes and not getting laid. Lewis made a full recovery from his injuries, and went back to school the following spring. He did not join another frat. I decided to go back to school and become a paralegal. I chose the Ohio State University and her and Lewis split rent on an apartment to save money. After graduating, I got a job working in Lucy's office. Harpo is still out there stalking the cyber spear, seeking justice for all a sinner's wrong.